Hello, kindergartens. Today we are going to do a number talk, or should I say a couple number talks. So your directions. You're going to see a number on the screen. You're only going to see it for about three seconds, so look closely. Say the number that you saw and say how you saw it. It might help to think about how you saw the number or counted the number so quickly. So here we go. Are you ready? Here's the first number. What number do you see? Okay, now think back to what you saw and say the number that you saw out loud. If you said three, you're correct. If you said two or four, you're pretty close. If you said 10, you might want to practice a little bit more. So you could have seen it different ways. You might have seen three as just a number. You just know the number three. That's called subitizing. Instead, you might have seen the number three as counting it by, by one. So one, two, three. And possibly you saw the number three by counting on. Maybe you saw this picture of two and put the two in your head and counted on one more three. Okay, are you ready? Let's try the next one. Look closely. What number do you see? Okay, shout the number out loud. Did you say five? If you said five, you're correct. What strategy did you use? Did you just know a picture or supertize the number five? Maybe you tried counting on. I'm gonna show you the strategy I used. I saw a picture of three here, and then I counted on two more. So I put three in my head and went four, five. Tell an adult what strategy you used. Here's the next one. What number do you see? Okay, shout it out loud. Did you say five again? Oh, I can't trick you. Now, think about how you knew it was the number five. Let's go back and look at the picture. Did you know a picture of three and a picture of two makes five? That's called, you did a little bit of two strategies. You used subitizing to see the smaller numbers and composing because three goes together with two to make five. You might have tried doubles on this one where you have two and two. So here's two and two more make four. If four goes together with one more to make five. And it's possible that you knew that this was a picture of six and you took one away to make five. That's decomposing. Let's try the next one. Okay, are you ready? What number do you see? Okay, say it out loud. If you said seven, you're correct. If you said six, you're close. If you said eight, you're close. Now, let's see how you saw it. So, the way I saw this one was, this is kind of like a group of four, and if you imagine there's another one here, it's another group of four. So I know four and four go together to make, if you said eight, you're right, those are doubles. So, if I had eight, but I'm missing one, I take away one, that makes seven. but you could have seen this different ways. Tell an adult the way you saw this one. Here's the next one. What number do you see? Okay, let's see how you saw that one. I saw five at the bottom. I put the number five in my head and I counted on six, seven. The number five in our, in our math system is a very important number. So I used the anchor of five, and then I counted two more. You could also say this was a counting on strategy over here. This is our last one. Look closely, what number do you see? Okay, shout it out loud. If you said the number 10, you're correct. Let's go back and see how you saw it. I saw it like this, two, four, Six, eight, ten. How did you see it? Tell an, ad an adult what strategy you used.